Conceptual Model, presented by Good for College. Previously in Good for College. In the previous class, we learned that there are three types of data modeling, conceptual model, logical model and physical model. Today we are going to deeply explore what a conceptual model is. Remembering that the conceptual model is made at the business level, where the stakeholders with the business analyst define what data is important to the system and how this data is related, according to the business rules. Imagine if you have to manage a market store, what data do you think is needed to collect? Customer Product Invoice Payment Once the data is clearly defined, imagine how the data is related. For example, a customer can buy many products, these products generate an invoice, the customer has to pay the invoice. This flow between data is the business rules. The conceptual model is made up of three elements. Entities Attributes And relationships These three elements will be used later to draw a conceptual model diagram. The first element that must be identified in the model is the entity. An entity can be defined as a group of data of interest to the organization, in which the information is to be kept and stored. It can be a person, a place, an object. But what is a group? A group is someone or something that shares the same characteristics. Imagine a car and try to describe it. It doesn't matter what car we're talking about. A car has a make, a model, an engine, a color. Since it is possible to identify that cars share the same characteristics, it can be considered as a group. Therefore, it would be defined as an entity in a conceptual model. The characteristics of this entity are called, attributes. The attribute is the second element that must be identified in a conceptual model, and can be defined as the main characteristics or properties of an entity that must be collected in the system. Going back to the car example, if the car was defined as an entity, make, model, engine, and color, are the attributes that describe the car's entity. It is important to note that each entity has an identifier ID, which is an attribute or group of attributes that uniquely identifies the stored data. In this example, it is possible to create an attribute called ID, which will be our artificial identifier. The third and last element to be identified is the relationship. The relationship illustrates the association between entities and represents the business rules. There are different types of relationships. 0 to 1 1 to 1 0 to many 1 to many Many to many Imagine the entity's car. Now add another entity called, owner. A relationship between these two entities can be represented as follows. An owner can have one car. Or, many cars. A car can have one owner. Or, may still don't have one. These relationships will be explored in depth in the next class on the entity relationship diagram. Now that you understand what a conceptual model is, you are ready for the next class, where we will represent that model using an entity relationship diagram. See you soon.